All right. So what I'll do, do we need, okay, so I was thinking, should I like record and then like, I don't want to worry about it because we're going to mess up the flow. So let's, let's not worry about it. We got enough. Yeah, let's, because it's going to mess up the flow. You having to get up and stop it, like, no. Three, two, one, action. I want to know you. I want to know you. I want to know you for who you really are. See, I want to know you. I want to know you for who you really are. Just made this. <laughs> There's a difference between a double tap on a picture and someone saying how it changes their life in front of you and how it transforms their perspective of art. There were people that walked in that never seen art or didn't know how to digest art. And I feel like I make art that's digestible to anyone. My name is Spiff Ellis. That is my name. Um, People go, uh, they call me that. Um, it's the name that I created when I was 14 and it's just stuck. Uh, it stands for spontaneous, powerful, intellectual, fashionable, and fly. I made it at 14, it's stuck, and now the world calls me Spiff, Spiff Ellis. So three years old, I fell in love with color. Um, but I would say when I was 12, I started to develop emotions and become aware of them, like sixth grade. Um, I started just drawing more, like every day. I started to really paint, you know? I started to make art that I felt, and that was new for me. Because you know, when you're young, you draw like the sun in the corner of the paper, the little half sun, you know, the house, the stick figure, mom and dad, sisters, brothers, but I started to draw like things that felt like emotions and pain and I was like, okay I'm I'm 12 years old what is this um that was also around the time I learned that I could sing I don't know where I'm going my heart still remains open even though I'm broken hoping I know I will come out golden I, was, I spent most of my teens depressed, um, definitely suicidal. Um, 13 to 18, 19, I'm impressionable, you know, and the world is happening around me. I have six siblings, I'm the youngest, so their, their opinions and their perspectives of what I should do or shouldn't do, I'm always battling that. I, there are times, you know, I think about going back in time just to give the younger me a hug just to let them know, like, I, I love you, and just stay, stay. Like, don't, don't kill yourself, because God is saying this, like, God is like, yo, I'm gonna turn the tables around for you. I'm gonna shift some things, and all of these things that you're going through, I'm putting it through on purpose, because it's gonna be a part of your testimony, but your testimony is gonna be a healing component to someone else's life. So 12 years old, that's when I started to realize the power of art. Um, at 27, I realized the purpose of why I do art, and I know that now. Walking towards my first exhibition. Uh, it's my exhibition, and we called it, I called it my exodus. Um, so this is very, very personal and emotional for me. Um, it's up for the whole month of June, so I'm gonna show you guys some of my pieces, some of my paintings. The gallery came about all of just grace. I walk in with confidence and I said, hi, my name is Spiff Ellis. I love what you have here. I would love to know if I can be involved somehow. I would love to do an event, you know? And she's like, yeah, you know, we do different events with different artists. Sometimes it's like a grouped exhibition where there's two, three, maybe five artists and they're doing you know, their work together in conjunction. Um, I said, nice, nice. So I gave him my card, we exchanged information. And um, yeah, I left. Then I got a call, you know, she's like, hey, you know, we have a slot open. 
She said, it's just yours for the whole month of June. I was floored because it was a first for me. I used to walk around Brooklyn, Jersey, Queens, Manhattan, Soho, you name it. Lugging around my big easel, five canvases, you know, shoulder pains, back pains, I'm hopping trains. Like, I've done all the groundwork and I've always had to go and bring all my art to the show. But for the first time, all I had to do was show up. That exhibition really showed me the power of painting what's real to you and what's honest to you. Because when I first started, I built my name just making cool art. So I'm drawing sneakers and Kanye, Rihanna, Chris Brown, like, but that wasn't solid food. So now my art is solid food. And it took, it took some time to get here, um, but I realized that my audience is just God. Andrew, you are awesome, son. You are awesome. You like your dad, boy. Thank you, man. Just like your dad, boy. My darkest moment ever was the death of my father. Um, he passed away last year, right before his birthday. Yes, this one? Yes. Hello, world. <laughs> hey, Dad. What are you doing out there? I, I gotta ask you some questions. So, when did you start drawing? Age six. I started drawing at age six. Okay. What, what is art to you? Is art to me? The world is art. Everything you see is art. God is art. If you see everything around you, my father was the first artist I've ever known. He put me on to painting. He showed me how to draw. He showed me his paintings. He showed me the pain that he put into them. He taught me art. My father taught me art. Are you a fan of my art, your son? <laughs> and Andrew, yes, I'm, I'm a big fan. I'm his best fan. <laughs> I'm, I'm his best first fan. Seeing him in the casket, and seeing his hands, and they were crossed, I remember that same hand was the hand that would be over my hand and say, okay, you draw it like that. This is how you do it, you know, you shade there. And he would always be very intentional and very careful with how he would teach me. Moments like this, you know, when I'm, I'm having a documentary filmed, uh, or even my art shows, or even my art exhibition, I feel like I'm doing it for me and I want to build a life for myself and my future family, but there's an inkling of why, the, the fuel of why I do what I do and it's for my father. Because he put, he showed me art and he defined art for me. Smith Ellis, I'm your host. Marker Mondays, Marker Mondays, Marker Mondays, Marker Mondays. I don't even gotta say it, you know what today is. Marker Mondays, we do this every Monday at 4 p.m. Eastern time. Okay, we listen to cool beats. That happened because I wanted to have something that was consistent and something to teach me discipline, but also something for people to always tune into. So Marker Mondays has developed from being a cool thing to show you how to use markers to now therapeutic videos to keep you going, to maybe fall asleep to, to create to, um, or to have playing on your, on your date, <laughs> date night. Um, just use it to be that fuel and to get you out of art block. Oh yeah, this is uh, Blessed With Talent, filming a documentary. My name is Spiff Ellis. I'm an artist, musician, painter, designer, everything you name it. So my Instagram is at kingspiff underscore. My website is madebyspiff.com. Y'all just hit me, follow me, show me love, you feel me? Out here. <laughs> nice to meet you, my boy. Nice to meet you, bro. Anything I can do for you, you got my card, I got yes. you right here. Yeah, I'm gonna hit you. Thing. All right, bro, peace. All right, bro. No, I'm not, I'm not categorizing anything. I'm not forcing anything. I'm not putting titles on nothing. I'm just flowing with it, you know, because I know God is leading me. I'm not, I'm not worried, man. I ain't worried no more. I used to be filled with anxiety. I used to be all these panic attacks, you know what I mean? Like, but now I know that I'm loved and I know that there's a purpose for my life and I'ma live in it, man. Like, there's nothing I can't do, literally. I can do anything that I put my mind to. And that makes me really, really, really excited, bro, for real. Uh, I feel like I've been blessed with a talent to bring something creative to a world that's dark and broken. And I wanna be that healing component. And I wanna be that light that this world so desperately needs. I have been blessed with talent.